You're welcome. Uh, in the Toyota Way to Lead Leadership, I talk about the fundamental skill of a leader and what the leader is supposed to, to teach is problem solving, following plan, do, check, act. And I talk about PDCA as the engine of continuous improvement. Uh, and PDCA, most people associate with Dr. Deming, uh, who went to Japan, and as the story goes, he taught the Japanese modern quality control, including PDCA, which he had learned from uh, Dr. Walter Schuhart, and then companies ran away with PDCA and started using it, and that was the reason for the Japanese miracle. Uh, that's a stylized, simplified uh, reconstruction of history, and I don't believe it actually happened that way. But in any case, PDCA has be became the basis for total quality management and Six Sigma, as we know it today, and most companies that have lean have some sort of problem-solving process. And with those of us who understand PDCA as it's thought about and as it's practiced within Toyota, we see a very large gap between uh, PDCA as we understand it, and as we learn from Toyota, and PDCA as we see it practiced more commonly in uh, other companies. What I'd like to talk about then is what is real PDCA. My definition of real PDCA is, again, what we learn from Toyota and also what we teach and what we find to be extremely powerful. And I'll distinguish that from a lot of problem solving that uh, is out there. Like I said, most companies, most large companies particularly, uh, have some sort of five-step or seven-step or eight-step problem solving process that are taught. In, in a, say, one, two, three, or five day workshop. I'll start with uh, an example of a misconception, and this just, I'm not picking on this particular person, in fact, I don't even know who it is, but someone sent me this from uh, a presentation that was going around the internet, and this person was distinguishing Dr. Deming, who is said to really have talked about plan, do, study, act with Toyota, who looks at plan, do, check, act. And one of the uh, conceptions, again, is that PDCA is not as strong as PDSA, because in PDCA we check, but in PDSA we study. And also that this is Dr. Deming's approach, and this is how Toyota interpreted it. I won't go into a lot of details of history except to say that the original Schuhart model, which was then modified a bit by Deming, didn't have P, D, C, or A in it. It had uh, things like you produce and you uh, check the market, you sell. There, was, there were a different set of things which eventually in Japan became, were turned into PDCA, and I believe that was mostly the work of Japanese companies. Uh, and then there was a lot of back and forth of learning between Deming seeing this in Japan and then putting it in his terms and then teaching it. So there was a lot of iteration of learning uh, that led to what we know of as PDCA. If we look at what the, uh, this particular person is saying that Toyota does, they launch into determining goals and targets while Deming uh, talked about an objective, they talk, he talked about questions and predictions, a plan for carrying out the cycle. Everything they say in the Deming model is in the Toyota model. So again, this is a misconception. And then in the uh, do stage, you engage in training and education and you implement work in Toyota, which is not true. Uh, there's actually, it may be training, but in most PDCA, you're just doing at this point by the do stage. You've got the plan, you've got countermeasures, and now you're putting them into practice to test your hypothesis, which is a hypothesis that I found the root cause, and this countermeasure will help address the root cause. That's thought of as a hypothesis, which needs to be tested, so you need to run the experiment. Uh, and then in uh, the Deming model, they talk about carrying out the plan, documenting problems, and expected opportunities. Uh, observations, begin data analysis. Again, that's all true in the Toyota model. And then uh, 
the checking stage in the Deming model is study, complete data analysis, compare data and prediction, summarize what was learned. That's a great description of the Toyota model. Uh, the description of the Toyota model is actually not very good. And uh, so actually the Deming model is a pretty good description of the Toyota model. Uh, but there's still a few things missing. Uh, so get, this is just one example of somebody who uh, uh, writes a lot and is a thought leader who has a fundamental misconception both of what gets attributed to Deming and what actually happens within Toyota.